Uh, uh, okay. Uh, morning. Okay. Um, uh, today is of course last day in my lectures, and uh, um, can you find something different from yesterday? Looking at me. Look at me, right? And uh, can you find something different from yesterday? Huh? Okay, right. <laughs> you find that? Yeah, 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 you know, this is a very special costume to me. And I use this costume, for example, it's a, a special lecture in front of our citizens, and also special, uh, uh, for example, one of our wonderful invited, to, uh, invited speakers, uh, invited sp uh, talk in the workshop, and so on. So in this sense, because uh, today is a very special day, and I, I actually, um, today is the last day in, in my stay of India. So that's why I use the uh, special costume. <laughs> okay, so uh, <coughs> go back. Yeah, it's today uh, I talk about an understanding of hydrodynamics on the basis of microscopic descriptions. Yesterday, I gave you a macroscopic understanding, I mean, phenomenological derivations of hydrodynamics. So for the moment, you can forget yesterday's talk. And just focus on the uh, uh, microscopic behaviors on the, uh, of water and the air, and uh, we just try to understand such behaviors on the basis of mechanical systems of, of interacting particles. This is, and of course, uh, I use just uh, uh, 90, uh, 90 minutes, no, 90 minutes. So uh, I give you a general view and a general result and some are uh, recent results, okay? So, um, <coughs> I now uh, try to explain the uh, system, and this is, I already explained the systems, so this is uh, a box, and the large number of particles are confined in the box. And the uh, gamma always represents a mechanical state, which uh, represents a, a correction of the uh, position and the momentum of the particles, right? And uh, we can write, right, we can, um, we, we, can, we, we, could, we don't write uh, explicit home the Hamiltonian, but uh, you can see the your note at, uh, for example, Wednesday lecture. And uh, this is a setting arc. Now, you can imagine that, okay, for example, this is water. Then the, you generate microscopy for something like that, okay? And just read. Then, uh, after uh, 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 leaving, um, all the motions, can be described by in time evolutions of Hamiltonian equations of the particles. Okay? This is a starting point of our understanding. And uh, of course, you can uh, uh, observe um, such violent behavior by numerical simulations. For example, if you uh, actually, um, as far as I know, um, the record, world record, is a uh, um, whole billion particles, right? Using a whole billion particles, they calculated spectrum of the uh, energy spectrum. I mean, the fluctuations of, of the energy spectrum. Amazingly, they observed chromogroph scaling, which is specific to the turbulent behaviors. And also, in a very high wave, high wave number regime, they observed equipartial regime. So in this sense, I, uh, this uh, is very, um, uh, 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 surprising, uh, actually amazing um, result by numerical simulations. But it was, used, uh, it was obtained by using Japanese technology, I mean supercomputers and you know, so, uh, of course, this is a very, very special result. And, uh, 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 but you can imagine that without numerical simulations, um, maybe time evolution of a Hamiltonian equation can describe hydrodynamic behavior, macroscopic, behavior, macroscopic time evolution of violent behavior of the velocity and the, uh, so on. Right? So, uh, I, in order to uh, describe this behavior, I, made, I make some assumptions, fundamental assumptions. Yeah? And you can imagine that macroscopic behaviors, and uh, this behavior has several um, language scale. Which depends on, on the system uh, we consider. 
Uh, for example, run, uh, for example uh, if we consider a tolerance, um, of course, uh, tolerance um, uh, uh, exhibits a uh, uh, um, cascade. Then the, uh, uh, in that case, we have the minimum, the concept of minimum eddy, minimum size of eddy, right? So this is called the column length. And uh, we choose a um, macroscopic length scale, Guzzi macro, uh, which is minimum length of the all characteristic lengths of macroscopic behavior. Okay? And also, on the other hand, when we uh, study Hamiltonian equations, we have several length scales. Uh, for example, we have induction lengths, or sometimes mean free parts, and uh, uh, radius of the particle, and so on. So uh, we define microscopic length scale as the maximum length scale in the microscopic mechanical descriptions. And we can expect that uh, these are separated well. Uh, maybe typically this is a, a order of the uh, uh, tenon storm and so on, and uh, uh, this may be uh, maybe uh, uh, one centimeter and so on, so depending on systems. So usually these are, are completely different. So uh, we can choose intermediate value, lambda, between them. This is a fundamental assumption. Maybe uh, you, you remember that this type of argument uh, can be used to analyze um, time series of the Brownian particles. Uh, I use the same argument, okay? And so, oh, look at this behavior. Uh, I, want to I want to describe macroscopic behaviors. So, the first question is to choose a variables, right? Um, this is, I will question simple systems. So the macroscopic behavior uh, can be described by um, time evolutions of locally conserved quantities. I explained the yesterday why yesterday, and uh, I just, today I just um, uh, uh, assume that behavior is described by locally conserved quantities. The reason is clear, because locally conserved quantity um, has infinitely, infinitely long lifetime. So um, if we focus on long-term behavior, other variables are so small, and we can just focus, we have only to focus on the, on the locally conserved quantities. So, uh, but, and also, uh, we want to uh, have the descriptions, we want to have macroscopic descriptions, uh, we want to define theoretically what is locally conserved, uh, what is the density field? Oh, 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 yes, in experiments, you can define the velocity field, you can define temperature field just by measuring. But, and this is uh, 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 not, of, not defined in microscopic systems. In macroscopic systems, we just introduce, in any measurement, we introduce a resolution of the measurement. And this uh, resolution is called cutoff or, or ultraviolet cutoff of the mic macroscopic descriptions. So uh, here is the definition of a, a macroscopic coarse grained, yes, coarse grained coarse grained <coughs> density field. <coughs> it is obtained by integrations of fine grained density field over the, uh, here, okay, just to focus on one point here, and we define uh, regions and with radius of lambda, spherical region of lambda, and uh, uh, this is just this corresponds to the ultraviolet cutoff of, of, of the accuracy of the measurement in the macroscopic sense. Okay, then the, uh, we want to have energy density here. Okay, so oh, in order to define energy density here, uh, we can write down explicitly. This is given by integration over the fine grain density. Fine grain density defined here. 
This, is, this difference is rather homo, but here is the Hamiltonian. At each point, we have assigned variable energy, okay? And at each point, we can assign uh, uh, momentum. At each point, we can assign uh, mass. So this is called fine-grained fine -grained density field. By using this quantity, we can write down a coarse-grained density field. This is observable quantity. This is what we observed in the other experiments, okay? <clears throat> um, of course, this depends on gamma, and uh, of, uh, oh, 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 yes, uh, uh, yes, this, this is depends on gamma. We just fix uh, microscopic configurations. Depending on microscopic configurations, uh, we have uh, exponentially measurable uh, quantity. Now, <coughs> because lambda is much larger than microscopic scale, then we can use law of large numbers. This is just expectation. This is not proof. Um, because, you know, this is an integration over the uh, regions, and the microscopic scale here, so we can apply the, the argument of most probable value, right? So this is, this quantity, um, I just, uh, uh, I don't explain that, so I, as the same as Wednesday, I use the notation here. Uh, this is uh, a time evolution according to the uh, Hamiltonian equation. <coughs> um, for, for a given time, we have some configurations. Then we can have coarse grain density field, which is observable in experiments. Then, due to the law of line numbers, this is might be the mo this takes the most probable most probable value. This is given by expectation. What is the expectation? This is motion is described by evolution equation. All the ensemble is determined by initial condition. So we assume some initial distribution. This is initial distribution. I will discuss it later. Uh, anyway, we first specify initial distribution. Initial distribution, initial distribution, initial, distri uh, initial distribution. So uh, once we determine initial distributions, all the distribution can be determined. So the most probable value, this quantity takes the most probable value, which is determined by expectation of the initial distributions. And uh, uh, this quantity is already smeared by the initial distributions, then that we can replace this coarse grained value by fine-grained one. Here we, had, just, uh, here we use some assumption about the smoothness of the distributions, but uh, this is, uh, we choose, uh, precisely speaking, we choose that this replacement can be made. I mean, uh, if the distribution is, is, is smooth, uh, for example, this, if the distribution is smooth uh, in these regions, then the, uh, we can replace by coarse grain. Expectation of a coarse grain value is the expectation of fine grain value. Now we write this expectation here, CT alpha. And uh, this is not proof, but we expect that um, coarse grain density field at time t takes a value, C alpha R expectation of some initial distribution for almost all gamma with respect to uh, some initial distribution. And actually, we can confirm these properties by numerical simulations. Um, of course, this is not rigorous proof, and uh, 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 mathematically, it should be very careful about that, but um, intuitively, not so crazy. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the order, if we, uh, Order is important, you know. Order of limit is important. If we if we take the limit t goes to infinity first, this type of argument is broken. So uh, if you uh, care about uh, a certain point, uh, you should be careful about this type of argument. But um, I use uh, I give you the uh, um, intuitive idea of, or of observing systems. Um, this is an observable value, and uh, this can be replaced by expectation of fine grain density with respect to initial condition, initial distribution. I, 
developed an uh, argument based on the assumption. <coughs> okay, then um, I want to understand <coughs> the time evolutions. Yes, um, because we just focus on this quantity, right? Now uh, we write, we can write at time evolutions, C T, C, not no, here alpha, and uh, uh, you can easily expect that this is a locally conserved quantity, and uh, we have uh, expected that um, continuity equation, and uh, actually we can prove that in this case, uh, alpha. Yes. An important thing here, uh, this, can, is, uh, this is expected by the, by the nature of the quantity C. Uh, this is continuity equation. We have studied the locally consumed quantity, and they satisfy the continuity equation. But now, C, this, this is current. <laughs> or oh, I'm sorry, C, T, yes, time index T. Yeah. This is continuity equations. And you can easily check that this is given by, no, <coughs> this is given by uh, J hat alpha gamma t to the one. Yes. Um, where this quantity, this current is obtained by the expectation of fine grained current with respect to initial distributions. And fine-grained current is determined by, uh, determined, by, uh, determined by this equation. OK, so I write the definition of the locally conserved quantities. And uh, we just consider the time evolution of this quantity. And we can confirm the existence of the current Uh, so we're here at CR, gamma t, uh, given by R, gamma t is equal to zero. We can prove <coughs> uh, there exists current, fine-grained current that satisfies the continuity equation. Actually, we can write explicitly uh, this form from Hamiltonian from the Hamiltonian. This, this, okay, so you have, this is the current. And uh, you can actually calculate by the Hamiltonian equations. And we, so we assume the, the home of Hamiltonian. Then the, this complicated home, this, this takes a rather complicated home. But basically, this uh, 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 quantity is uh, determined, the functional home is determined from the Hamiltonian. <coughs> and you can directly ch check that. Um, Fine-grained density fields satisfy the continuity equation with current, okay? Fine-grained current. And the current here, which is interpreted as an uh, observed quantity, and which is given by expectations of the fine-grained current with respect to initial distribution. So uh, this can be uh, checked uh, just by uh, using the definitions. And we can, okay, so I, I, I forget to tell you, um, uh, today's talk is based on my work. Uh, 2004. And you can check the, uh, this paper. And in this paper, we have a uh, self consistent, uh, self contained uh, explanation of the derivations, uh, the argument. But uh, argument is a little bit too complex. And you may uh, find some difficulty to read these papers. But I'm now preparing a longer version and everybody, so that everybody uh, but it can uh, read it. <coughs> but, but, but maybe you can uh, uh, check the uh, uh, flow of the logic <coughs> by reading this paper. So. The question is the following. This is a general uh, situation, right? 
Um, question is the following. Question. We already have microscopic definitions of uh, J and C. The question is uh, express JT alpha A, this is a current, in terms of in terms of locally conserved current C. And maybe a uh, different time and different, uh, maybe a different time and, uh, uh, and also our maybe a, a regions. So if we find this type, okay, so I, I repeat. The question is to express current in terms of locally conserved quantity in the past and the old, old domains, right? Then if we solve this question, we can find that time evolution of locally conserved quantity, right? So this gives a hydrodynamic equation. And yes, so <coughs> if, if we can solve this problem, this is equivalent to the derivation of hydrodynamic equation. <coughs> okay, so are there any questions to this point? Uh, setting up, here is the setting up. I setting up the systems and uh, I just address the questions, uh, which uh, from now we want to solve this question. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, okay. So now I solve it. <coughs> um, before solving the problem, of course, we need to uh, make uh, uh, the problem more uh, uh, sharp. I mean, uh, more. Uh, uh, make uh, the problem clearer because uh, I didn't specify what is initial distribution, okay? The first question is, okay, in, in, in the other experiment, we consider you generate macroscopic flow first and deeper on, right? The, I want to describe this behavior. Um, I mean, so, you know, so flow, uh, first you observe the type of behaviors and uh, activity decrease, 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 and go back to um, equilibrium state. This is usual case, right? And uh, uh, we want to describe this relaxation behavior. So in order to describe this behavior, we need to generate a turbulent behavior first. So uh, how do you choose and piezo gamma? The important thing here is that piezo gamma should represent turbulent behavior we, you generate it, okay? This, um, so, what is the condition of a piezo gamma? This is, should be, uh, 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 should describe turbulent state. I, I don't define turbulent state, but you know, it's just a uh, disturb, uh, very wild flow, and on, on the water and so, so on, turbulent flow. Turbulent state. In macroscopic sense, okay? In the macroscopic scale. I mean, the macroscopic means that our Lemgo scale is much larger than lambda. <coughs> in the macroscopic scale, in the mac macroscopic scale, turbulent state in the macroscopic scale. This is, of course, necessary, but again, this is not enough to make a general survey. Um, of course, and it is high enough to be a point, and this next our expectation that even if you, okay, so you imagine that you generate talent for like that, but your, your uh, hand is at the most centimeter, right? So you cannot generate talent for uh, on straw if you are, um, micrometer uh, finger, then you can generate um, micrometer, micrometer disturbance, but unfortunately you have 
just a centimeter high finger, right? So um, even if you generate turbulent flow, um, if we focus on a, a small behavior, I mean microscopic scale, microscopic scale. Uh, I should be able. Uh, I don't know. I I I I I I. I I'm not good at English, so it is better to yes. I know. I don't know. Uh, microscope scale, <laughs> and it should be I, I, yes. <laughs> and yes, equilibrium. This is just assumption, okay? Um, or of course, uh, general cases. So we don't. We don't. We don't um, if you consider general cases, and uh, there is no uh, apparent reason to choose. Uh, this state, but uh, you, if you can imagine, uh, you, is, you yourself generate a um, uh, turbulent state, it is not so or stupid. So we assume that piezogram represents the turbulent state in, at macroscopic scale, and uh, also piezogram represents the equivalent state at microscopic scale. Microscopic means that length scale is much shorter than cutoff length. Macroscopic means that length scale is much larger than cutoff scale lambda. Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> so how do you make a this distribution? This distribution. Of course, there are many ways to uh, 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 make. Uh, uh, many ways to make a, a distribution satisfy these two conditions, but I just write a simple way. I choose here. I, I will explain later carefully. I just write here, and what is this? Uh, no, we have the distributions. <coughs> we choose <coughs> some uh, yes exponential psi. Uh, I introduce uh, in order to save the notation uh, in this vector. I define f. And, and the black circle G uh, represents uh, just the integrations of integrations over the uh, integrations over the space. This is just the definitions, and uh, we just introduce a lambda. I will explain the physical meaning later. This depends on the positions, and uh, uh, we made uh, this, this is a fun this is depends on the position. I mean, this is a function of space. And uh, this gives uh, uh, just uh, integrations. And uh, uh, this gives uh, normalization. Normalizations of the distribution functions. And uh, no notice that this is a function because lambda is, uh, is a function of the position. Then the, uh, this gives a uh, um, real valued uh, function from the functional space. So in the sense, this is a functional. Um, we just assume this one, and uh, this is called. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, uh, I have sign convention. I always consider sign conventions, and this gives local gives distribution. So first I say um, the meaning of the distributions. You know, if, if, you, if you consider the current current ensemble, you just assume the energy at times inverse temperature, right? But now the energy distributed in homogeneous in, in space, then the, we just, this is the, a kind of extension of Inverse temperature. Energy 
momentum and density are distributed in homogeneous manner uh, according to this extended canonical ensemble. So this condition dependence of lambda represents the inhomogeneity of the distribution of energy, momentum, and mass. Okay? So, <coughs> um, I can rewrite, maybe uh, I can write. So, for, I just introduced, I don't explain uh, carefully about that, but uh, just uh, introduce uh, this part. Yes. This part is written as this form. This may be more intuitive, right? Um, this part is written, is, this is exactly the same uh, expression, but I don't use uh, integrations or uh, locally conserved quantities, something. This is written, you can confirm exactly uh, by using the definition of uh, C. Um, this is exactly the same as. And I introduce velocity field. This is uh, related to lambda. Uh, 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 I, I must uh, maybe uh, this note may have some wrong. I my my note uh, my note claim that lambda a is equal to u. But I think something wrong. Uh, I, I, I maybe I miss some beta or something. Uh, maybe I, I miss beta. Why? So in, in, anyway, um, this is just uh, by using a definition of local constant quantity, we can rewrite this part or this one. Okay? Then you find that, and this gives actually canonical ransom. Extend the current ransom. Because if you, uh, okay, this plays the role of inverse temperature. If lambda zero is homogeneous in space, okay? And also, this term uh, gives, uh, how to say, uh, um, a potential functions. So it is related to chemical potential of the system. And you, ah, uh, this is, my note is correct. Uh, Yes, maybe maybe better not. Uh, and uh, this term means, um, <coughs> uh, uh, if we, this term means that we observe a system for moving frame with the velocity uh, v. Okay, so you can imagine, and um, this type of, of, of distributions, we generate inhomogeneous temperature by this one, and inhomogeneous. A po uh, chemical potential by this term, and we generate inhomogeneous velocity by this term. Okay, so in this way, uh, we start with chemi uh, equilibrium ensemble, and then we make a, uh, a, a change of the temperatures, chemical potentials, and velocity. This is the ensemble, uh, local, it, it, which is called the local Gibbs distributions or local Gibbs ensembles. And okay, then. In order to uh, satisfy these conditions, we introduce a separation of scale. <coughs> um, yeah. Yes, uh, th th this gives the uh, extent of the inhomogeneity of the uh, 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 
uh, energy distributions and the momentum distributions and so on. So you can, you can prepare a macroscopic turbine flow by choosing lambda as, as, as taken from just sample of turbine flow. And uh, this assumption means that this lambda A, no, lambda alpha, is a slowly, slowly varying function in compared to a uh, microscopic scale. So we write scaling home, just into the scaling home here. And epsilon is defined by um, microscopic Langer scale and macroscopic Langer scale. We assume that this is very small. And the lambda bar is independent of epsilon. Intuition of this uh, uh, choice is we generate macroscopic flow, and the fit is independent of microscopic detail. And we just, uh, uh, for simplicity, for example, you, you can choose, uh, in, in order to study the behavior mathematically, we can uh, 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 choose, we can set microscopic Langer scale is unity, then the uh, microscopic Langer scale is given by epsilon inverse. So it means that um, microscopic, this uh, conjugate variables represent macroscopic variations, spatial variations. And uh, uh, if we focus on microscopic scale, you know, this is a length scale of the uh, velocity, uh, velocity and uh, uh, chemical potentials and temperatures, uh, it's much larger than lambda, then the, if we focus on microscopic scale, it is this value takes a constant, okay? This value takes a constant. So this distribution satisfies two conditions I requested before, okay? This is the assumptions of our arguments. No, this, this, this is a this is a function. This is a, it, it, it depend. It, it, it's independent of gamma. Uh, I, oh, 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 I, have to, I forget to say that uh, if the quantities depend on gamma, I, I always uh, set hard. Okay, so, uh, crush, distinguish of the fine grained quantity and the, uh, that function is important. If the con uh, if some quantity depends on a microscopic state, we use the notation C hat. Lambda is independent of microscopic state. It, 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 I, I, uh, okay, so for example, you can choose sine functions or cosine or kind of hyperbolic as you like. So this is just functions of space. Yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, here we lambda zero. Oh, okay, so this, this is lambda zero, and this is lambda a. Oh, uh, sorry, u a. Lambda is, okay, well here we sell, uh, five component quantities, and uh, uh, this, 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 oh, yes, I, I also have to hear that. Uh, I use the Einstein convention, I miss the alpha. And uh, this is this this takes a uh, take a summation of the, uh, with respect to alpha. Oh. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, no, no, there 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 is energy, right? There is energy. So it it it, it plays the role of inverse temperature. Oh, uh, you, okay, I'm sorry. Yesterday I used a different convention. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I usually, uh, yes, uh, today I, I, uh, he, he said that uh, I use uh, different conventions of yesterday's talk. Yeah. Uh, today I, I, um, I first defined here, this is all in my lectures, uh, today's lectures. So um, 
yes, actually, um, yesterday I should do that. Of course, of course, if, if, if you can interpret it, because uh, uh, there was, uh, this, this is an uh, uh, extension of the Gibbs Ensemble, so uh, always we have an uh, ensemble, something like that. Yes. Oh, this time you mean? Ah. Ah. Yes, you're right. So, I, okay, so you were asking about the uh, physical meaning or something like that. You know, this, 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 uh, um, I don't have, uh, yes, actually, I don't have clear physical meaning. So, um, I just uh, um, have the um, substitution expression here and just write here, and uh, we have clear physical meaning. And uh, this, but, but you know, so this, um, just a constant. It is it, it independent of gamma. No, I'm sorry. Here it's dependent on gamma. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, you are right. So it depends on gamma, and uh, we don't have um, interpretations of. Uh, sorry? Oh, because Ri. Ri uh, is a position of the. Uh, Yes, I thought that this is independent of uh, the but the uh, um, velocity depend on the positions. And uh, you, it's, you itself is independent of gamma, but uh, you Ry, this uh, Ry is the one component of gamma. OK, so uh, <coughs> okay, so here we're setting up. Last time, no? This gives a, you know, uh, this, uh, this is just. Ah, yes, right, right, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, you say that uh, this contribution, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, right, right. Oh, sign? No, I, I think minus. Okay, so check, check. Okay, of course we can, we can check it later. And uh, I have maybe uh, this. I, I I found some interpretation of this term. Maybe this term can be is a kind of a chemical potential. Yes, because um, it can be written as a uh, some potential form. Um, it is. Uh, uh, we can have some potential functions and uh, some. Uh, yes. We can write something, something like that. So by combining two terms, so this gives some potential. So, so maybe a chemical potential appearing here. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe my, it is correct, but uh, I'm not sure. I always um, made a mistake in sign conventions. <coughs> OK, so now uh, here we're setting up. And uh, 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 now we have, uh, we can discuss time evolution. Now we ask oop, <coughs> PT, the distribution of PT, now we ask distribution of the mic microscopic state at time t, okay, which is just given by Determined by internal distribution. This comes from the Liouville theorem. I already explained this type of uh, 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 solutions. And I use uh, a Liouville here. I, I don't explain more. Again, a Liouville theorem. And uh, it, this means that uh, local uh, distribution of microscopes 
climactic state at time t as given by local Gibbs distributions, but arguments are rather different. We know that. So, in principle, we can write the current. I want to express the current. Uh, this is defined by g gamma <coughs> and uh, uh, J, here is a, a microscopic uh, current, and uh, this is object here. This is different. Uh, uh, this is uh, <coughs> uh, definitions. <coughs> PT gum. Uh, I use. Um, no, no. Uh, here, I'm sorry. Here. This is. This is the expectation, so our here was expression PT gamma. This is, this is observed current. Current is given by expectation of, of microscopic current with respect to initial state. And uh, uh, we can shift to the arguments so given by, it is equivalent to the expectations of, of the uh, 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 probability uh, density at time t. And uh, we can write here, J hat <coughs> G ramed G gamma minus T. <coughs> so the question is, uh, this, this is a uh, formal expression. And the core of the question, the question is to express this quantity by using C, locally conserved quantity. This is the question we want to solve. Okay, so <sighs> of course, you know, here we go, local groups. Um, this is very complicated quantity. All can be defined, but uh, uh, gamma minus t. This uh, this gives the solutions of the Hamiltonian equations, and usually. It, it, it represents a chaotic trajectory, so we cannot uh, analyze this type of quantity, and almost, it is almost impossible to, it seems impossible to analyze this quantity, and uh, we try, we're now trying to, to express this quantity in terms of locally conserved quantity. But uh, looking at this expression, it is almost impossible. It seems almost impossible. So uh, we need idea. This is a uh, um, idea of the symmetry of the vision. So this is actually topics of, of the my lectures. And uh, as I said yesterday, symmetry of the of symmetry properties simplify the argument. Actually, and uh, in order to in order to solve this a uh, problem, a symmetry argument um, per, uh, has very powerful. Uh, um, to to analyze um, the systems, so uh, um, I just write um, uh, idea. This, this is this is a uh, uh, already know. <coughs> Maybe I I think from some experience from function theorems and uh, this extension at home. We use expressions here, gamma. This is the distributions, okay? I observe this type of distributions with respect to different one. Okay, recall that on uh, Thursday, we use the uh, um, past probability of whole directions. Looking at past probability of whole directions, we use the uh, past probability of backward directions. And yesterday used um, pass probability of, of, of whole directions and pass probability over dual process. 
And uh, in this case, you know, so in the case of Hamiltonian systems, just one point determines trajectory. So, and uh, this measure, probability measure, is so difficult. So we observe this measure with respect to simpler one here. I introduce here, uh, here is the lambda t, 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 t uh, I explain later. Here we local Gibbs distribution with some uh, lambda t, and the index is gamma. Gamma is a uh, mechanical state uh, at the time, just we consider. And of course, this is not equal, but I introduce difference ratio of the two, ratio of the two probability uh, define term quantity. This is, um, formally speaking, this is nothing but the definition of the um, sigma. And you'll find that this corresponds to entropy in this case. <clears throat> but for the moment, uh, just follow mathematics. Uh, uh, mathematically, uh, this is just nothing but the definition of uh, sigma hat. <clears throat> and uh, what is lambda? Of course, depending on the choice of lambda, uh, uh, all the argument uh, becomes a different, takes a different form. But uh, we choose lambda. This is arbitrary. So we can choose as, as, we, as we like. Choose lambda t such that. <coughs> average, here, here, this, this oh, oh, wait, so, but, um, I use the notation here. This means the uh, average over the PT. Uh, I, I use the notation here. This is the average with specific the PT gamma. <coughs> um, this is, uh, of course, uh, this is uh, equivalent to CT here. Um, choose lambda T such that here, or any alpha, Local gives lambda t. And this, uh, OK, so our expectation of some quantity with respect to uh, 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 local gives distribution with lambda t, it's noted by uh, this notation. OK? So this is. Uh, Definition of lambda t. Physically speaking, you know, um, you can observe turbulent behaviors, and sometimes, of course, you can imagine uh, you you made a generate here a, a pushing wall. Then the, uh, you have the um, temperature is inhomogeneous. Uh, we don't define temperature yet, but um, as time goes on, maybe temperature uh, becomes uniform. Then the, uh, we just observe the distribution. Um, of the microscopic state, and this is not uh, local gives anymore, but we expect that this is a, a real distributions, and uh, this may be close to some local gives distribution. So, uh, in order to uh, represent and the, this expectations, we choose round t such that. This identity, this equality holds. So you mean that? So you can you can say that lambda t uh, plays a role of and time dependent temperatures and time dependent chemical potentials and determine the flow. Okay, but you know uh, this is nothing about the definition of lambda t, and we can prove that under some assumption. You know, or I forget the uh, and uh, psi has some convexity. Uh, this is assumption of the systems. Then the, uh, in that case, we can prove that actually we can, prove, we can choose lambda t to uh, satisfy this condition. Okay? Or here, this, this is a, okay, here is definition of sigma t. Here is definition of lambda t. <coughs> Homer speaking, right? Uh, we never introduced uh, um, assumption or appro uh, approximations and so on. And uh, uh, yes, yes. That's all. Now, here is this choice, indeed, very useful. 
Indeed, uh, actually, you can write explicitly step by step, but I just generally draw without any approximation. With this setting, we can prove the following. Actually, you can, uh, you can read uh, my paper. I explain uh, carefully about the derivations of the following results. Um, basically, we have three identities. Uh, first thing is, <coughs> yes, we find defined here This is the definition. This is the definition of the S, and uh, of course, if this uh, temperature is homogeneous, it is, it is, it is equal to the thermodynamic entropy. Uh, we defined, uh, this, we introduced this quantity as a normalization of the local Gibbs distributions, and it is called entropy function. Entropy function. Okay, this is the definition of SC. Then we can prove that easy, lambda t, this, okay, this here is the definition of lambda t, it's equivalent to kt, okay? You can prove that, <coughs> just very simple argument. And uh, uh, also, uh, we can have several relations and actually, you can calculate this sigma t hat. Okay, I just write is given by zero t d s zero s d. Maybe we, we need a five line calculations <coughs> gamma s minus t. <coughs> and the uh, delta here generally defined by a gamma. Deviation from local Gibbs. <coughs> you can calculate here. Okay, so the, uh, this is definitions, and they, you can confirm. This is claim one. This is claim two, and you can calculate it. And uh, 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 then here is a uh, um, almost obvious identity. The proof is almost same as uh, yesterday and uh, the day before yesterday's. Uh, we can prove the following. Or any quantity, fine grained quantity, we have. This is almost obvious. From the definitions or setting up. And also, a little bit non trivial thing is that. We can prove yes. <coughs> um, well, I don't use any approximations. I don't use any approximations. Um, but um, it it means that. It is a kind of extension of a something like a concept. And uh, uh, this choice is related to uh, uh, some dynamics. And uh, uh, sigma t can be uh, calculated explicitly by using um, conjugate variable and some history here, right? Some history of the uh, consumer quantities and the current, okay? <coughs> And uh, uh, we have the identity. Here is the identity. Here is the identity. Maybe you find that, and you already find this type of, you find this identity Wednesdays, and you find this type of identity Thursdays, and no, no, you find, oh yes, Wednesday, uh, in, in the, in the, 
in the argument of the second row, and the third thing you find uh, this type of, of equality in the uh, introduction of the fluctuation theorem. And uh, yesterday, I also introduced a different type of, of fluctuation theorem. And uh, today, I introduced uh, another different type of fluctuation uh, it, it is a kind of fluctuation theorem, um, but uh, 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 a new one. And uh, this plays important role to understand the behaviors. <coughs> because, uh, for example, if you, check, if you, you can choose here, current, then the, uh, we have expectation of current is given by here, is given here, local gives, and lambda t. You know, this is exactly, this is the exact relations. This quantity, uh, recall that this quantity is what I want it to discuss. I mean, we want to express current in terms of conserved quantity, right? This is our, quest our, our, our questions. And now we have this quantity is written as correlation of the current and uh, some exponential home of, of, of the sigma and uh, 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 with respect to the uh, local given state. You know, so we, we local given state is a uh, little bit extension of the uh, current equilibrium state, so it, it's easier to analyze, okay? And uh, uh, we also have some uh, relations, and also I, I, uh, I hope say, uh, let's just say, yes, yes, this yes, it, this is also result, S C T minus S C zero is just equal to expectation of sigma. We, we can also prove that. <coughs> okay, here is a proof. We can prove that this is the result. This is the result. This is the result. This is the result. You know, and this is the definitions. This is the definition. This is the definitions. Okay, uh, from this. If what from these definitions we have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. And uh, uh, yes. And uh, by looking at this identity here. Uh, no, no, uh, here, uh, we also uh, have choice here, right? Put here, set here in the identity. This is the generations. Then we have E minus gamma, T is equal to one, okay? Of course, you are already familiar with this type of, of the equality. And uh, repeating the same argument as Wednesday, we have positive, no, not negative. And uh, using this type of relations, it means that S C T <coughs> positive, not negative, right? Precisely speaking. So. Uh, S is a kind of extension of entropy, and uh, this satisfies and um, second. This is an extension of second row. Entropy functional does not uh, increase. No, no, does not decrease. It it this it explains that. So entropy functional defined in this way does not uh, decrease. <coughs> okay, so these are uh, general results. And actually, um, by using um, by using uh, 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 this general result, we can imagine time evolution of C. Because uh, for a given C, for a given C, we have uh, okay. So this entropy function can be determined in the Hamiltonian. We don't we don't use to solve the uh, uh, time evolution. This uh, you know this, this is a static definitions. Um, uh, only uh, by analyzing Hamiltonian we can determine the entropy function, and uh, um, then for given C we have the data here, 
and if we can determine it here, then uh, we can calculate it correlation here. Then that we have uh, uh, um, estimates the expectation of the current. So, or uh, implicitly, we solve the question I addressed before, but um, it is not so easy to uh, imagine estimate explicitly to this type of correlation. Now, okay, so it was, uh, is it clear to, to this point? Uh, this is the, the general part. General part. I, I, know, uh, I, I won't say again, we don't use any approximations. I use some uh, assumptions about initial distributions and I assume some uh, conditions about scale, scale separations. That's all. I don't use any approximation. You know, we just uh, sometimes uh, uh, maybe uh, there are some uh, approximations by using uh, a truncation procedure or dilute gas cases or high temperature cases or so on. Notice that I never use any approximation. This is the general result. And uh, now, <coughs> I <coughs> uh, make, a, make approximation here. Uh, I think, okay, I, 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 I did it. Approximations. What type of approximations? Okay, I use, you know, there was, I have only small parameter, epsilon. is much larger than unity. We have a small parameter, so we can expand epsilon for the problem. Okay. How do we expand it? And uh, this epsilon, all small parameter coming from here, epsilon only appear from here, right? This is the assumption of, of the introduction of the small parameter in the problem, right? So, uh, <coughs> using this, um, uh, this gives, for example, if you consider derivative of the uh, conjugate variable, you find that you know, uh, this scaling home indicated that this is all the epsilon. This, this should be interpreted as a small parameter, small, small quantity, okay? In a similar manner, we have, we found that C alpha, uh, C alpha is also a small parameter, or the epsilon. We can make similar uh, an, uh, argument by the important thing is that small parameter, all small parameter coming from this assumption. That's all. And C is given by, uh, uh, C is given by, okay, so C, C is given by, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes. <coughs> so, now we expand entropy functional. This is the general expression of entropy functional, and uh, we can expand by using um, the quantity with small parameters. And we can find that, um, here with uh, here, um, prime, I don't care about C plus or epsilon square. Um, I need to define some quantities. Uh, I introduce here the prime is the quantity defined by, uh, um, I just defined here, um, prime variable is just defined by uh, moving, uh, observed by moving coordinates. Moving coordinate here is gamma is as usual, gamma prime is Um, here, uh, M, U, R, 1, and uh, P minus M, U, R, 2, and so on. We just observe the system with the uh, moving coordinates, which is the definition of the uh, uh, prime variable. 
Then the, uh, uh, this, this is the Hamiltonian observed in the uh, co-moving frame. And we can confirm that, uh, actually we can expand the empty functional with respect to epsilon. So epsilon tends to zero, this is uh, that's like a homogeneous. So uh, we have found that this is given by the integrations of a Samnac entropy density. This gives uh, a Samnac entropy. Samnac entropy. And the important thing here is that the correction is square of epsilon. Not, 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 uh, um, not uh, linear. This is happy. And uh, <coughs> yes, so uh, once you find, um, to, okay, so here with some of the entropy, now we can combine, um, you can use the concept of thermodynamics because this is some of the entropy. This is just defined as the entropy functional. This is the home of definition of, of, of uh, 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 home of definition of, of a quantity, and just like entropy like quantity. But this has clear meaning. And clear some meaning. So we can define beta. This, this is uh, true beta. Uh, I mean, the sum of temperature is given by yeah, something like that. And also, we also define um, the uh, chemical potential. Yes. This is the definitions uh, of, of the thermodynamic definition of the inverse temperature and the uh, chemical potential. Okay, so, so by using uh, thermodynamics and uh, by uh, uh, using the relations of uh, connecting lambda and the S, uh, maybe uh, you remember here, lambda is given by the derivative of, of entropy functional. So we get uh, here lambda zero is actually uh, uh, it's equal to beta. Beta is defined here plus epsilon square. <coughs> exactly speaking, lambda is not, inverse, not equal to inverse temperature. If we focus on long wavelength regime, if we focus on part of the regime with respect to epsilon, uh, lambda zero is e uh, exactly the same as inverse temperature. <coughs> and uh, if we want to uh, discuss uh, 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 higher order corrections, lambda zero is different from the uh, inverse temperature in the thermodynamics. And uh, also we have uh, <coughs> lambda four, uh, lambda four, yes, lambda four. Uh, this is we, uh, we can just obtain by here. Uh, ah, yes, I, I am corrected. Uh, last time is actually combined to the chemical potential. Uh, yes, <coughs> lambda four is related to um, inverse temperature and the chemical potential and so on. And through this relation, we have connection to some dynamics, okay? And if you focus on the regime up to order epsilon, up to order epsilon, we can ignore the correction term. So we can use a some dynamic argument. And Lambda hole also depends on R. Uh, all quantities depends on R. Uh, of course, uh, you know, so lambda zero depends on R, and beta depends on R. O all depends on R. And uh, uh, you know, S two. Uh, this quantity is a function of a two variables, that the, uh, but uh, these depends on R. Okay. So now we expand sigma. I, 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 I wrote the explicit homo sigma here, and we can expand. <coughs> we can expand, and we can confirm sigma one plus square, right? Um, and uh, the the final result, and uh, you need some, uh, uh, maybe uh, one, two, three, four, four pages calculations, and. Uh, Maybe you, you, you don't like uh, to calculate uh, such lengthy calculations, but uh, I, now I recently uh, 
have found a new way to calculate over sigma one. And uh, in the longer version, I will uh, show you the um, shorter uh, version of the calculation of sigma one. But anyway, uh, you need to uh, calculate some um, length equation, uh, some steps. <coughs> um, yes, I, I will just show the result. Sigma one is given by time integrations of here. Here, uh, here, 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 part is dependent on mechanical variables, and uh, <coughs> yes, <coughs> and Q is is defined. And uh, tau is defined A little bit complicated, but we can calculate. <coughs> okay, so uh, looking at these expressions, here is exp uh, uh, here is the uh, expansion of a sigma, and now <coughs> what we want to do is estimate of the current, estimate of the current. So the current uh, is. Here, alpha. <coughs> this is the exact equation. This is the exact equation. And by my use perturbations. <coughs> Plus. <coughs> the correction is square. Ah, uh, okay. So we have here and here, <coughs> and uh, J uh, sigma one is zero. So <coughs> now we can calculate and this quantity because this is just the average of the of the uh, uh, with respect to the uh, 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 with respect to the local Gibbs distributions. And we can calculate this quantity explicitly, and then we have found that um, the current <coughs> um, uh, uh, current is given by T. L and the uh, current A is equal to uh, rho U A and uh, J <coughs> uh, uh, four no me, oh I, I I made a mistake uh, J four A is equal to rho U A. <coughs> Uh, sorry, so maybe I, I should uh, I should be careful about. Uh, yeah. Uh, hear me? Uh, where, where? Here? No? He heard crying, crying. Ah, uh, sorry, index A, yeah. Um, just wait for a moment, so uh, I forget, uh, right, uh, J4, yes, J4 is given by rho UA, 
And uh, also we can calculate uh, P, yeah, I'm sorry, H plus P. Let's give my H plus P. No, here is H plus P U A. And uh, this is given by uh, P uh, delta A B plus rho U A U B. Okay. This gives a here contribution here. And uh, 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 there is some torque. There is some torque. And uh, yes, uh, actually, you can calculate this quantity. And uh, uh, I introduce a toric uh, in which, by using uh, 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 this toric, you can obtain immediately um, uh, this result without any calculation by using uh, a general result. Actually, uh, this type of calculation is very easy. And uh, of course, looking at estimation of this uh, quantity is not, uh, I mean, uh, very hard, but. Uh, um, historically, the calculation was done by Kirkwood in uh, 14, 14, uh, in, I don't know, in 1940, 1951, I guess. Uh, Kirkwood uh, calculated these uh, uh, calculations, but uh, it is quite difficult to follow his calculations. But now it, it, it's very easy to obtain this contribution. Without, uh, you, you don't actually you obtain these without, without any calculation. But you just, it's coming from the symmetry property. And uh, this part is um, difficult. I, I mean, they still need the calculations. But we already calculated sigma 1. And uh, uh, this is represented by um, here. The current is given by, <coughs> I, I write uh, zero solder, zero solder, zero solder. and. Uh, I see the uh, first order. <coughs> uh, zero A, first order. <coughs> ah, zero A, first order. <coughs> is equal to, uh, here it's, here it's, here it's, here it's, here it's. Uh, where is? Kappa uh, delta A beta. <coughs> yes, this is correct. Uh, sign convention is uh, maybe I may I make a mistake. J zero is rather six. No, maybe I made a mistake. Um, the one is given by, I mean, given by here, uh, tau AB, UB plus QA. <coughs> yes, this is why. Um, JAB, the first of the corrections, <coughs> is given by tau AB, and uh, J, uh, four A, first of the collection is there, and uh, uh, tau and U Q is just expectation of this quantity. <coughs> just we, we just give the substitution here. Uh, we can estimate here, and maybe uh, uh, someone uh, attended the uh, yesterday's tutorial, and yesterday uh, I. Uh, represent x and, and represent y. Yes, this is, uh, yes, I, I denoted this quantity x and uh, this is y. <coughs> and actually, we can, tau and q is the expectation of this quantity. So the last step is to give the, uh, what is the uh, evaluator tau and q. Now we have the final destinations. <coughs> we have, how A, B is given by <coughs> um, minus eta, del A, U, B, del B, 
E A minus <coughs> it's just the same as yesterday. <coughs> There's a C, 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 the same. And uh, Q is given by beta. And now we have three parameters here. And uh, these are obtained by the correlation function. Well, I just write the kappa. Kappa is given by Q and DS. You see here. Q hat, <coughs> one component. Okay, let's do this. <coughs> and all who have the same and uh, Expression, right? Uh, okay. These three transportation coefficients can be expressed in terms of the time correlations, and eta is given by the time correlations of uh, and stress, and uh, zeta is given by the time correlation of the pressure. Um, <coughs> tau pressure and pressure. Uh, with respect to the local given state, and I make one assumption that so because uh, 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 this, you know. Assumption, what I, this gives the correlation functions, and we assume that correlation length and correlation time of the, uh, uh, of this quantity is much shorter than uh, <coughs> length scale we assume, okay? So it gives a correlation, it defines the correlation length of the fluctuations, and uh, uh, we assume the uh, 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 length scale of, of the U and beta and the, uh, uh, U and beta, uh, U and length scale of U and beta much larger than the correlation length. Then the uh, writing expression we have uh, something here U and beta, but we can extract, we can go out uh, um, integral. This is one assumption I, I use. But anyway, now we have a complete program. So in this way, we have derived hydrodynamic equations from the microscopic viewpoint. And uh, the important thing here is that uh, we have derived general conditions, and we use just one assumption, basically one, uh, basically one assumption, scale separation of microscopic and macroscopic waves. And by using these uh, assumptions, we just expand of the general result. This is very simple task to do that. We, uh, actually, we don't have uh, any uh, uh, approximations related to physical properties of, uh, of the system that we study. Uh, so, uh, and you understand general of, uh, uh, generality of the hydrodynamic equation. And actually, exactly uh, the, the final form is exactly the same as the phenomenological derivation of the hydrodynamic equations. But if, uh, today, uh, these coefficients can be expressed in terms of the uh, correlation function. This is, of course, if we consider equilibrium state and we just consider uh, small perturbations, then the, uh, we can, in that case, we can have the linear response formula. So we have no, in, in this case, uh, we know that during Kubo formula, I don't know the reason why Kubo uh, appears here. So I, I, I know that Green derived this type of expression. The Kubo never dri derived this expression as far as I know. And anyway, so uh, green and derived this type of uh, derived and uh, this type of expression of a transporting coefficient near our, our, our global equilibrium state. But now we try to understand turbulent behavior. Even in turbulent state, transporting coefficient can be estimated as uh, 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 correlation functions as the local given state. This might be. Uh, a little bit extension of a usual green cube holder. So, as uh, are there any questions? Uh, very uh, formal. <coughs>